Hello folks, my name's Dave. I'm from Dave RV Channel. Today I've got a pretty cool unit behind me. I've never got to see one of these up close before, so you're going to get to see it for the first time with me. Hey, I don't work for this company. I don't work for the company that sells it. I don't work for any company. If you think that's cool that I'm sharing my time with you, hey, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I sure would appreciate it. So anyway, we're going to step inside and see what's going on in here. Well, from the outside, we got two steps to get us in, so I do like that. That's uh, and it's also got a grab bar to grab a hold to. So uh, let's go on in here and see what we can find. This is what you see as you're coming in the door. You're gonna be coming right into the uh, to see a glass door on the shower and bathroom area, and also look at the uh, look at this dinette. Everything about this RV is very modern looking, very unique. I have not seen anything like this, folks. This is uh, this is kind of a kind of a new thing for me. It's got a Dometic uh, Dometic refrigerator and freezer combo. It's a pretty good size uh, combo fridge system. Also got a stereo system here look at this bed now I'm gonna to have to lay on this bed because it does have plastic so I'm gonna see what that's all about here in just a second but I'm interested to see what's going on down here we got doors cabinet doors under the uh, under the dinette chairs so that's pretty neat just little little extra storage area and they've got you uh, some outlets down there to plug your phone into and uh, even got some that are set up for uh, like cigarette lighter style. Got uh, one of those doors on each side of the dinette. Pretty neat. Very thick countertop. And I'm assuming that this can be uh, converted down into a bed because I do see the uh, rail system here where uh, something could rest on it. So I'm assuming you just break that down and make it into a bigger bed. That way you could probably say this unit sleeps four. So uh, the slide is in the outward position. It does have a slide out. Plenty of room in here. If the slide was pushed in the inward position, I seriously doubt that you could uh, get through here comfortably to your uh, refrigerator or your uh, bed for that matter. But just wanted to point that out. And also if that slide was in the inward position, you could not get to your HVAC controls. All right, so Let's go into the bathroom, see what's going on here. They actually have a privacy curtain because if you did notice that uh, bathroom door was see-through. So uh, you can close the curtain, still give you privacy and uh, let's see what they got happening in here. They got a max air fan looks like. So uh, that's nice to have in here. And it's actually got the speed control. I said that's a max air, but I believe that might be a, uh, a different model. That's a uh, copycat, but uh, anyway, uh, it's got uh, got a cabinet in here as well for you to uh, store some of your your bathroom linens and uh, and other bathroom goodies. Also has a uh, let me show you this sink. That's pretty neat. Got a uh, modern style sink and got a cabinet below, and it does have a like a. Uh, I guess this is about a three foot shower unit with a shower curtain and it does have a mirror built onto the wall and it does have extra head space up above so uh, us taller fellows are not banging our head while we're trying to wash it all right so let me get out of here and get back to the uh, living room Look at this backsplash. Everything on this thing is, uh, like I said earlier, very modernized. You've got stainless steel everywhere. You've got glass doors on the cabinets. You do have a two burner cooktop. There is not an oven, but there is plenty of storage underneath the sink here. And I'm going to see what this is for the first time with you. So you open that door, and oh, look at here. You got drawers to pull out. That's pretty neat. Pretty neat. And they have a very smooth roll to them. I like that. 
and the bottom is another area for storage as well just a big open cabinet area and let's see what we got going on here we've got uh, this is like a pantry opening next to the refrigerator uh, on the lower side and we also have one up above which this is more of like a clothing area because you can see you can actually hang your clothes from a from a curtain rod up here all right so i told you i'd get on the bed so let me get on this bed and see what it feels like well my feet are all the way to the wall and when i lay down here ow i pop my head on the window <laughs> so yep this bed is not meant for tall guys Matter of fact, this, this his mattress is awful, but uh, you do have uh, an area up there for uh, your TV hookups. You actually have a cigarette lighter uh, hookup as well, so that I guess you could maybe if you had one of those TVs that are made to uh, to be able to run off of uh, your battery, you could uh, hook it up there as well. But uh, if you look at how the roof is shaped, it's triangular in shape. You really would not be able to mount a very big TV up there at all. It would have to be more down here around the window area. So uh, all of that would be showing at all times, your wires and everything. So uh, really not good planning on the uh, part of the design concept. Okay, it does have a uh, large air conditioning system in into the uh, ceiling here which I was glad to see that it did not have one of those window units in the wall I actually don't like that uh, design that you do see on a lot of them so uh, kinda glad to be able to see that uh, they didn't have that here this RV unit sells for 19,900 here at Reed Camper in Huntsville Alabama again I do not work for them but I just wanted to kinda point that out one other thing that I feel like I should point out is uh, I'm 6'1 and I've got about two inches of head space over my head. So I uh, just want to kind of give you an idea about head space. A lot of people don't talk about that in videos and that's why it's good to talk about those things as, uh, you know, from my standpoint. Again, I'm not a salesman here. I'm just a guy walking around filming videos. But what I did find interesting is when you come in this door I've noticed that they put a skylight here so that as you step up I guess uh, either either it's to keep you from banging your head or maybe they just wanted to give you some skylight I don't know but uh, anyway this is a pretty neat RV unit it's got a lot of neat features that I do like but it's got some that I question as well all right one thing i do like about this rv is it does come with michelin tires on it you can see that it's got some real nice looking alloy wheels and these the tire size is 255 by 18. so that is not common to see on an rv of this size which is great okay i'm out here on the side with a slide out and uh, just wanted to show you that they did not put an awning over the slide to protect it from uh, rain getting in. But I do like that they do have the, uh, the pipes for your uh, black water tank up fairly high. But it looks like it could have actually been raised up a little bit higher. But uh, with these 18 inch uh, Michelin's on here, that's got, a, got this RV up fairly high off the ground so you probably wouldn't ever have to worry about uh, that pipe getting damaged but uh, do notice that they have a couple of doors out here on the outside I do not have a key to open those so I'm not gonna be able to open those for you today but uh, you've got all your standard hookups out here your fresh water and your city water and your electricity and uh, and it's got a uh, pass-through cabinet that goes under the bed and of course it's got a water heater like all RVs do or most again folks if you're interested in looking at this RV in person this is at Reed Camper Sales in Huntsville Alabama well I will say for the 21 RB it has a very nice looking exterior and I like the very modern interior but I will say that I was not crazy about the layout 
And with that in mind, I would give this RV a 6 out of 10. So hopefully y'all enjoyed this uh, little walkthrough I did on this Falcon. I've uh, again I've never seen one of these before, so pretty neat little unit. It's got a got a couple of issues I wasn't crazy about, but it's got some things that I really do like. The fact that they put a uh, a uh, Michelin tire on there at 18 inch that was pretty neat. So uh, on that small size of an RV, that's that is overkill, and I do like to see overkill on an RV. Last thing you want to do is have a blowout with a single axle. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Please hit the subscribe and the like down below. And uh, hope to see y'all soon. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.